Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna be reviewing the Kelly to go from Hermes and this is something that I wanted to review since the day that I got it because it was quite of a shocking find and it's turned out to be like the most used bag that I have for the past couple of months like I really cannot put this down but I wanted to make a review to tell you if it's worth it because of course the price tag is quite hefty so I posted a story on my Instagram with questions that you had about this bag so I made sure to cover pretty much everything that you want to know so let's get into this video If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Zoo and I make tons of videos about handbag shoes, traveling, I'm 24 and I love luxury brands and shopping and everything. So if you like any of those topics, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. I'm gonna see if I can link some of this on the description box down below. I usually do this little thing on my description box where I put the finds of the week. So I link bags for you guys, which I think they're like either a really nice price, an amazing deal or super Super pretty or hard to find so I'm gonna try to look for a couple of these in different colors mine is in gold with gold hardware with a contrast stitching I got this from luxury promise um, this video is not sponsored they're located in the UK Dubai and they recently had a pop-up in Paris so I really love their page they usually have a lot of hard to find things especially with um, Hermes so yeah I got this one from them but I'm gonna link some of them in the description box down below and to answer to all of your questions so let's get into it okay the first question was if it fits an iPhone 13 or or 12 Pro Max. My phone is a 12 Pro Max. Let me take the case off so you can have like a better idea. But it fits with the case, no problem. It actually fits my phone, no problem. Like it's super super easy. So here's the phone again, 12 Pro Max. So it's the biggest one. It's bigger than the X max wasn't the name i always forget like all the extra things that they add to the, f the phone names first of all i'm gonna give you the overview of the bag and i'm gonna put the phone inside so it has the kelly features where it has the two like arms and then you open it like this and it has a strap that is removable and this is how it looks on the back bottom and it has the tag here of the mess and this is how it looks inside it has two pockets on the front two pockets on the back these are for cards and the zipper so I'm gonna show you how it does fit my phone in both front and back without problem you can see there and on the back and if I were to close it with the phone inside you're gonna see that there is it doesn't even look bulky at all so definitely it's a phone friendly bag no matter the phone that you have unless it's like way way bigger than this one it's it's perfect is it difficult to get in and out of quickly example getting cards out of the store so i'm gonna be honest most of the bags that i own are really hard to get in and out and this is the same than getting it out of my kelly probably getting out of my classic flaps but be back 19 bucks so i usually don't close it all the way so i really like to do this and just like this so if you want to reach for something you only do this so it gets easier when you get used to it so it's just like this like it's not that hard i promise you get used to it so it's definitely not the easiest to get in and out of but i find it quite easy so that's not an issue for me and that's nothing that i would say that it's something that you have to look out for i would say that it's harder to get out of the um kelly it's right there just because it's a little bit stiffer i don't know why but this is like it's easier to open and close also because it doesn't have the handle how many ways do i wear it so this is perfect for crossbody i'm gonna show you much it's with the bag i definitely the best way to use it is crossbody but because the strap is also removable you can use it as a clutch and as a wallet a big oversized wallet i'm honestly more into small wallets when i'm using another bag but this has been great sometimes when i go to work and i have like my big um my long jump with my computer or anything and i want to go and run some errands after work i just have this inside my bag with my stuff and you just take it with you also for traveling it's been great because you can have this on with your passport your phone and everything and you can put it inside a bigger bag but you know that you have this that you can have on hand so i mainly wear it crossbody but as i said the strap is removable you can see here that you can definitely take it off do not recommend to do it constantly because it kind of looks like it would loosen up a little bit the 
like the setting because it only has one setting so the strap is not adjustable that's something that I would say that it's not just it does it's not adjustable okay so price I could not find it at the online Hermes store I, I don't know if it's just because it's not available I think that they do sell it on their website but I may be wrong but I think that it's around uh, like five thousand dollars which is quite expensive I'm gonna put uh, prices here from different sides because I honestly don't know how much it is retail it's tricky to know because they are usually sold out it's way easier to get it than a Birkin and a Kelly or a Constance so that's nothing that you have to worry like they will sell you this if they have it probably try to order it but I don't know what is the price also because the price is in, depends on the country so it's tricky to know retail price so I'm just gonna put some screenshots of prices on different websites Okay, so I have a couple of questions in Spanish. So they're asking me, would I get a Chanel wallet and chain after this bag? Um, no, because the wallet and chain has quite a long strap drop. Never been a fan of that because of the strap drop. So this is definitely really good for me. For size reference, I am 5'1", so I'm, I'm short. I'm on the shorter side. So I really enjoy that this one is actually a decent strap length. Is it the first thing that you would grab if you're on the go? And the answer is yes. That's one of the reasons why I actually have used this bag quite a lot since I got it just because it's really easy to grab and go I've been having my credit cards here or on my card holder that I use most of the days so if I'm gonna go grocery shopping most likely I'm gonna take this one so it's definitely being used quite a lot because of that it's an amazing grab and go find it super comfortable and super handy so I love it would you get this in other colors um, I would say yes and no. Yes, because I love it so much that I know that a black one would be great, but also a fun color like Vert Cliquette. I think that's the way that you pronounce that color. I really love that one. Is it worth the investment or would you get a bigger size at back? It depends. I would say that if you see your collection and if you kind of want a mini Kelly and you're not gonna get offered one, this is an amazing like option if you like the mini Kelly and you cannot get one. I think this was a little bit of training for me in case in the future Sure I ever get a mini Kelly not that I think that I'm gonna get it but I don't really think like it's worth it I get a lot of questions about if it's worth it to get this one instead of just the wallet and I always said yes because you you have the strap so the strap is the game changer on this bag and it's one of those that you don't see much about in social media and unless you're really familiar with the brand or luxury handbags it's quite understated and when I just don't want anyone to see it like you just can wear it like this does it fit sunglasses no it does not fit with sunglasses I'm sorry how to find it source it where did I buy it so you can definitely get this from the store if you really ask your essay so probably go and ask and let them know that if one comes in you are interested I don't think that it's gonna be really hard to get your hands on it and if you cannot get your hands on it definitely you can check on fashion file I'm gonna link a few on the description box down below I got mine from luxury promise I'm gonna check if they have more and if they have more I'm gonna link them and I've also seen some of them on Le Prix so I'm gonna also link some of them on the description box down below you can find plenty of them on the pre-love market but I highly recommend you to try at your store because they do sell higher on the resale market so investment wise I think that they're a good investment because they do sell above retail I asked how much the bag is here in Mexico retail to my essay right now and he told me that it's around uh, $5,000 so that's more so what I predicted but here things are more expensive than in the US and in Europe so that's why I cannot really tell you how much is retail because because it varies between countries now I'm gonna post you know the measurements I hate that part about reviews because I don't know but I'm gonna research and if I find them I'm gonna put the measurements on the screen and also the strap drop because I don't know it and I don't have a way to measure it because I, I just don't have one I don't know if it's like a starter pack for a youtuber to actually have something to measure your bags but I'm gonna find them but definitely if you want to see a size comparison with the iPhone 12 Pro Max it's this like you can see so it's not a big bag but it definitely is roomy I'm gonna show you a little bit of what you could put inside so it's quite slim so I would put my phone here my four cards and if you want to put cash hair ties or anything you can definitely put it here and I usually put my car keys a lipstick and maybe an extra face mask so that's usually what I take inside the bag like it's not a bag that's gonna fit a lot obviously it's a, it's a small bag but it definitely fits even sometimes I take my card holder inside and that also fits so it's roomy it's really good but I do recommend you that if you're the type of person that it's used to taking a lot with you to sit on this one 
get something bigger. Is this something that you would recommend as a first SLG bag from Hermes or a later purchase? So this depends on your budget, like, so if you've been waiting for a while and you really want to get something that you want to make sure that is a little bit similar, that gives you the vibe, that is pretty and especially this color for me is everything, I definitely can recommend you this for, to be your first bag because it gives you all of the Hermes features that you're gonna like, that you have the leather, you have the Kelly closure, which is super unique and I love it and it's not as hard to find as the other bags and if not I would highly recommend you to check out the Picota I love mine I have one right there it's on the Nata love it but yes if you're looking for something that is not the Constance the Calera the Birkin this one is beautiful and I love it okay would you choose an Hermes uh, this Kelly to go or if I would choose a mini and I'm gonna bring my Chanel mini so they're really different personally I would choose probably my Chanel mini even though I use this one more but just because this has a special <laughs> Uh, I have a special attachment to this bag price range like I would probably go for a Chanel mini honestly if I were you guys But if you really want to go for Hermes, I would definitely go for this one. Does it fit AirPods? Yes, but um a little bit bulky so it does fit so I think I covered all the questions that you guys asked me so if you have any more questions about this bag please let me know in the comment section down below I definitely think that it's a three-in-one it's very very versatile it's a clutch it's a wallet and it's a crossbody bag uh, a handbag I like it a lot because it's like um, a little fix for the mini Kelly that everyone loves and I think that it's easier to get I love the bag so much so yeah if you have any more questions please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll try to make sure to reply to all or if not most of you so yeah and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos and if you're not done I'm gonna leave you two videos right here so please consider checking them out and yeah thank you and see you on the next one bye